Hello YouTube, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a real-time uh, day-night system, kind of like in Skyrim where the sun shifts every five minutes or so in position in the sky so you have a full day-night cycle. Alright, so I'm just going to delete all my lighting here except for this one because I like it and red's the best color. Alright, so to start off all you need is three, no, four lamps. Two of them are two hemis. This one's going to represent. There we go, two Emmys. First one is facing down. Give it an energy of 0.1 and make it blue. This is going to represent the energy reflected from the sky. And this is going to be the ground. So rotate it on the x axis by 180 degrees. Can't see. Avoid bathing. No. Uh, where was I? We go, 180 degrees. Now you want to change this to 0 0.05 and make it a kind of brownish color. And turn off specular for both of the lights. So now when you look at our monkey, it kind of represents the reflection from the sky and the ground. Now for the area that the, uh, the sun's going to follow, so that's just going to be a sphere. I mean circle, my bad. Uh, add a circle, scale it up to about the size of your wanted traveling area. So now just rotate it on the y-axis by 90 degrees and I'm going to rotate it on the uh, z-axis just a bit so it's on a 45 degree angle to the corners. Wait, I don't like that. I'm just going to leave it like that is. Okay, now we just add the two lamps. One's going to be for the sun and the other for the moon. Alright, so now I'll go ahead and add a lamp which is going to be a spot just bring it all the way up so it's exactly on the line or not exactly but more or less on the line of the circle you want to turn the energy up to something like 2 the distance to 45 and you want to change the shadow size to 2000 that's so the shadows are a lot sharper and nicer turn the bias down to 0 0.09 actually just change it to 0.1 and clip start to 3 and clip end just leave that as it is. Right, so there you go, the shadows are decent sized, I guess. Now you want to change the spot size to something that's going to fit the whole entire area here, so about 90 degrees should do it. Yeah, exactly, and the the higher the size, the more jagged the shadows become. As you can see here, they get kind of ugly. So, I'll put this down to 90 and then turn blend on, that's going to blend the edges of the spot on the sun so it's not like a perfect circle around the end like on the sizes here when you put the blend up it kind of blends in the area there alright so that's our sun, I'm just going to color it slightly yellow and put the energy up to 3 uh, maybe even 5, I don't know just, yeah that's right okay now I'll duplicate it uh, drag it down to the bottom, rotate in the x-axis by 180 degrees, and change the color to a light blue, because blue is awesome, and put the energy to about 1. Okay, now just leave the settings here as they are, and parent the lights to the circle. So parent the moon and the sun to the circle. Now go ahead and select your, your floor and extrude it. So tab, E, extrude downwards and select everything by pressing tab, A, W, and then press um, flip normals. There we go, now everything's set up right, press P to play, make sure everything's right. All right now we're going to get into the game logic, which is very simple. So I'm just going to select the circle and then you're going to go down into the game logic, which is this little game QB button there. Now you want to add one sensor which is delay. Now I'm going to explain this very simply so an ant that's been dropped on its head can understand this. Right. Delay is the amount of ticks before the trigger is turned positive. So how many ticks is 60 ticks per second. So I'm going to put this to about 5 because I don't want this to take too long. And the duration is the duration of the true through here. Now if it's true, then it's going to do the action. If it's false, then it's not. So every five ticks, it's going to do a true pulse for five ticks through here. I don't know if that made sense. 
and make sure you click repeat and turn the duration to 5. I just want to go add an actuator which is going to be motion and put the 1 degree there. Now I'll go ahead and join these up like that and I'll just go back to a view and when you press P to, play there, P to play you'll see that they rotate and the moon comes up and then the moon goes down and the sun comes up and then it goes down. Now um, if you want to make it more like Skyrim where it changes every 10 minutes or so you're going to want to change the delay to something like uh, about 3000 maybe and the duration is something like 15. So every 3000 ticks which is, let me just calculate that or if you have a big brain you can think of that by yourself so 3000 divided by 60 so that's 50 seconds, every 50 seconds it's going to um, it's going to rotate around for 15 ticks so that's about 15 degrees, so every 50 seconds it's going to rotate 15 degrees all the way around, constantly, constantly, over and over again alright, thanks for watching, that's all for this video, if you liked please if you liked the video please like and subscribe if you have any questions just leave a comment below thanks for watching